Hey guys, uh, you Ottawa Scotty here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the situation regarding the removal of my the exhaust manifolds from my motorhome here, and uh, as well as uh, give a little update as to how the mini ductor or induction heating tool is working in this particular scenario. The last two days I've been working on this, and uh, the first day. Uh, I had some ideas in my head about how this was going to work, uh, and of course that uh, did uh, turned out nothing like how I thought it was going to work. Uh, first thing I did was I uh, loaded up the uh, heating uh, the um, mini ductor there with a coil and went straight to the manifold and tried to heat it up. Unfortunately, when it ended up, uh, well, I did this a couple times. Um, with varying setups but it did not work like I thought it was gonna work what what I've come to the conclusion is that the bolts being connected to the engine head and the exhaust manifold there's too much um, there's too much um, thermal mass there for the mini inductor to uh, heat all that up. It does a really great job at heating studs and bolts up very quickly, but I don't think it has the power to heat a bolt up that's connected to the engine head. It just did not work. And I also think another reason why that might be happening is because I can't really get the coil uh, around the bolt head like like I can when a bolt is in a vise or something, you know, like the coil doesn't fully surround the bolt head. And also the coil is kind of touching the engine, the head of the engine as well. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe a lot of the energy from the heating induction tool is being soaked up by the uh, large mass of the uh, engine head. So anyways, um, so yeah, that was my discovery there. And of course, you know, spraying it with water to see how hot it actually got. Uh, it wasn't even boiling off the bolt head. So that was fairly disappointing. But I started to think about ways of how I was going to heat this up because, you know, I still need heat. So I thought that maybe I could get the bolt hotter with the induction tool by making a homemade coil, well not homemade, but just working with the wire that came with the the tool and creating a coil that was tighter to the bolt head. So what I actually did was I used a 14 millimeter socket as a mandrel and I created a four coil coil, if you will, a four turn coil using that as the mandrel and then I tried that and unfortunately that didn't work either and then I started to think if there was something wrong with my with the tool itself so what I did was I I tried it on the 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 bolts connected to the exhaust uh, man exhaust manifold flange where the downpipe comes and uh, it heated those up immediately right away and actually was very helpful in getting those nuts loose so yeah so I did th there was uh, some success there so that was great so at least I got those off uh, and that was sort of the end of my first day there. Uh, so small, a small victory, I suppose, but really still stuck with these uh, manifold bolts, not being able to get them off and not being able to heat them up either. And I was doing my best, trying the torch. I, I went back to the propane torch and was trying to use that to heat, heat the nuts up, or sorry, the uh, bolts up as well. And, you know, propane is just not hot enough. And so, you know, I even started exploring the possibilities of maybe go getting an oxyacetylene setup, and then I was thinking maybe there's a way to make the propane hotter. Then I looked into MAP gas and uh, MAP Pro gas, uh, but really, at the end of the day, uh, none of that was going to be, you know, none of that was going to work for me. So, I kind of went to bed. Slept on it, and as I was thinking, sleeping, I, I thought, well, I've got this induction tool. I know that it heats bolts up, and maybe it's just a problem with the coil. Maybe I need a different coil. So what I thought was, 
because the bolt head is not um, fully in the coil, I thought that that was probably the reason oh, that it was not heating the bolt head up or, or you know, having troubles or, you know, that sort of thing. So I thought if I could just make a coil that would be smaller, like a smaller gauge wire with the same amount of turns uh, that I could fit entirely over the bolt head, perhaps that would heat the bolt up a little better. So I got up the next morning and I, um, I got, had some junk wire in the back in my backyard. I got some uh, 240 volt. I cut it up. Uh, stripped it and that the 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 wire there was slightly smaller in gauge than the original wire that came with the heating tool and so I again used the 14 millimeter socket as a mandrel and made a coil out of that smaller gauge wire uh, which was quite fun by the way and does work well so you know just as a side note with these heating induction tools you can make your own coils and uh, of course I wasn't using any insulation and I learned something there as well. You can use a coil like that without insulation as long as the coils don't touch. And as I was heating up the trying to heat the bolt up with this new coil setup, the coils at one point did touch and I did hear the tool kind of like it was it I could tell it didn't really like that too much. So if you are going to be making your own coils, just make sure that they don't touch. Uh, there was a little bit of a spark there, but the it didn't seem to damage the tool. The tool still works fine. So now the unfortunate result there was that that coil didn't work either. I think it worked better, but it did not. It wasn't able to do the do the trick. So. Moving onwards, at this point, I'm feeling pretty defeated, and. So I started to think of, you know, I've got to get these uh, manifold bolts off. What am I going to do here? I, don't, I can't heat them up. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Wow! Okay. So, now I'm thinking, well I got a torque wrench and let's just try putting some twisting torque on these like i i was using the impact gun for the most part to to try and get the bolts off just because you know i i'm really worried about damaging the heads of the bolts and uh, so on and so forth i just feel like with the with the good socket with the impact gun um you know getting on there nice and square to the bolt that seems to be the the least uh, danger of rounding off bolt heads and so on and so forth. But I oh just boy. decided I'd uh, try the the torque wrench right. with the with the breaker bar. Um, well, sorry, not a breaker bar, but uh, a good a good half inch extension, which I do have. I have a nice half inch um, good size uh, snap on extension, which is which is good for that kind of thing. And uh, lo and behold, I I, uh, I I put the torque on. And uh, I was able to get one off, and it was a. At first, I thought I snapped the bolt head off, but no, it, it came out. But because it was a fairly uh, loud noise when the when the bolt actually came loose, uh, it was, so it was, you know, I was wondering. I thought that I'd maybe damage the bolt, but no, it, it was just that the bolts are really, really stuck on there, and on there good. Now I'm realizing why the impact gun would not get them off because they they are on there tight. And I had to put all of my strength into the end of that torque wrench to get that thing to turn. But it did turn. It did come loose. And, um, yeah, so we're able to get one out. And I uh, started to feel pretty good about that. So I tried the same method. And actually what I was doing is I was heating them up with the propane torch just to get them a little, get a little bit of heat in there. And then using my setup with the torque wrench and the um, the extension, the half, is, half inch extension to really put some twisting force on there. And I was able to get actually five 
Torque. bolts out of the exhaust manifold. So some re some really good progress there. Oh, we got her. God damn. Praise the Lord. Uh, and I'm really, really happy about that. I think the important lesson here is learning the limitations of the heat induction tool. Uh, what I've come to the conclusion is, is that it's really great at getting, you know, uh, studs off and um, bolts that are sort of um, more exposed. But when you have something like, uh, like a bolt that's in an in an engine head, there's a there's a, a lot of mass there to heat, and it just does not have the power to do that. So I think that's an important lesson. Although looking at videos of this on the internet, I've it seems to work on other other engines. I don't know why it doesn't work on mine, um, but anyways so that's where we are now it was kind of rainy out today so i didn't so i didn't get back out there to see if i can get the rest of them off there are three left what my my plan is to get a really long half inch extension and like really long maybe a meter long so that i can uh twi twist it from outside the wheel well and um, so that's the plan. At least I've got a plan, and I've got some bolts out and um, intact. There, are, I, I haven't broken any bolts, or there's no broken studs in the uh, in the head just yet. So we're still still doing good. It's going very slow. It's been a learning process, but that's where we are right now. So on the passenger side, with five bolts removed, we've got three more to go on that side. I'm gonna really take my time. I'm gonna wait till I have the proper. Um, I need as long as an, uh, as an extension, a half inch extension as I can find. And that's my task for the next couple of days. And until then I'll just keep soaking, uh, soaking, uh, the bolts overnight, so on and so forth. But, um, anyways, I thought, uh, I thought you guys would be interested in that little update and to see the results of the induction tool and my feelings on that. I do think it's a really awesome tool and it really helped with the exhaust flange bolts. It heated them up red hot and I was able to just turn those off really easily. And so, um, it is a, a tool that works very good in its specific applications and not so good in, in others, just like any other tool. So I'm not uh, disappointed in the heat induction tool. I think it's gonna come in handy a lot in the future. So be sure to see that in some of my upcoming uh, videos. But as far as these exhaust manifold uh, bolts go, you need some twisting power. You need some real twisting power. And uh, that has uh, become apparent. As a matter of fact, um, I actually broke my torque wrench. All right, let's see what happened to this to this thing. Okay. Hmm. Well, I have to get a new new uh, torque wrench now. I shouldn't shouldn't have been uh, using the torque wrench anyways, but I couldn't find my breaker bar, and I found it since. So <laughs> I'll make sure to use the breaker bar instead of the uh, torque wrench. And hopefully, Canadian Tire is still honoring their lifetime tool replacement because uh, I'm left with a busted torque wrench now. So. Anyways, um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you enjoy the update. And stick around for uh, more videos. We're gonna get these uh, get these bolts off, and uh, you know we will get it done. It's just taking a while. And uh, stick around. We'll see you soon.